while voters did acknowledge that uh, Victoria uh, was successful, this did not translate into them thinking that Labor deserved to be re-elected. In fact, they thought the opposite, with a significant majority of voters believing that it was time to give someone else a go. Labor's long period in office was weighing heavily against us. And we knew that if the election became a referendum on Labor's 11 years in office, that we were toast. So we attempted to focus voters' minds on the times ahead. We wanted them to think about the challenges of the future and which leader and party were best equipped to meet them. Our second focus was on John Brumby. We wanted to turn the election into a presidential style race between Mr Brumby and Mr Bayou. We knew voters respond, re respected John Brumby as a person who had led Victoria through some extraordinary times. The worst drought since Federation, the global financial crisis, and of course the horrific Black Saturday bushfires. Even after the polls tightened, John Brumby enjoyed a huge lead over Ted Bayer as preferred Premier. This lead stretched out to 16% early in the campaign and he also had a significantly higher uh, approval rating. On these two metrics, Mr Brumby was clearly a lift on the Labor vote as he rated more highly than our primary, while Mr Bayou was a drag on the Liberal vote. In terms of the different approaches Labor could have taken to the campaign, the leadership frame was clearly our best. <clears throat> it was also a good way to focus people on the choice. They had to choose between who they wanted to lead Victoria for the future, not just cast a vote about the past. We also knew that despite being in Parliament for 11 years and Liberal leader for five years, Ted Bayou remained largely unknown to voters. With the Coalition having not been in government for 11 years, it was always going to be hard to credibly attack the record of school and hospital closures and service cuts of the previous government, of the previous Liberal government, I should say. I mean, the fact is, 11 years is a long time. I mean, it took five years to win the Second World War. It took three years to build the atom bomb. For many people, 11 years is two marriages. Um, it's a long time. <laughs> 